Hello world, Randy Savage 5 Zero here, back with another video, and this one will be on my brand new Safari Land 6360 ALS SLS holster for my Glock. Um, it's beautiful. Here's the package that it came in. I found it on eBay for a beautiful deal, and the reason I got it was I was kind of sick of this droplet holster for my battle belt, so I wanted to replace it. Uh, what kind of done me did me in was this clip right here was kind of getting in my way when I was drawing it as well as holstering it, and there's no active retention to it, so I wanted to kind of find something that was better. I, I've always been looking, but this came about first, but I happened to find a beautiful deal on this holster that I'm speaking of, and I had to jump on it. So here's this holster installed on my battle belt. There she is, the Safari Land 6360 ALS SLS holster, um, ALS for automatic locking system, SLS self locking system, and I'll describe that here soon, so. I'm not gonna take it off for the video. I wanna keep it on it and kinda demonstrate something, but um, here she is. Beautiful Safari Land holster. Um, here's the bag. It's This one specifically is for, let's say it's left-handed, I'm reading, Glock 17 and 22 for flashlights, TLR1, Surefire. It has another other, uh, other things written too, but it's kind of, worn and torn i couldn't really read it um so it seems as if it can work with other weapons as well and that's one of the reasons i'm doing a clip as well because when i was doing my research on it it said glock 17 and 22 and i was wondering if i could fit my glock 19 in it and i was looking at other sites that were selling this holster and people were commenting well if you have a 19 it's not going to work people were asking if i have a 19 will it work someone was saying no someone was saying yes but i was thinking those weapons are similar in size. It should work. So, will it work or will it not? The answer is yes. The Glock 19 with a TLR1 flashlight will work in this holster, just like the Glock 22 with a TLR1 flashlight. And I'll show you that. So, take a look at the, host, the holster again. So, it's a pretty nifty holster. And it is, I'm gonna love it. I'm probably gonna keep it on forever unless I switch weapons. Uh, but you have the hood here, uh, so that's the SLS retention, so you have the self-locking system, sorry, self-locking system, it's pretty stiff, that's the point I'm going to make too, it's pretty stiff when you start out with it, but if you keep practicing, keep practicing, keep practicing, it'll loosen up for you. I have a couple other of these holsters for a couple other of my firearms, and I've learned that when it's out the box or out the bag, it's pretty stiff, but once you practice and keep on activating, deactivating that, it'll loosen up for you, so... Uh, that's the SLS part of it, the self-locking system is that hood, and the ALS the automatic locking system. If you look right here, you'll see a button for your thumb. You have to activate that button with your thumb and able to get the weapon out. So this is the Glock 19, show you that it does fit in here. It looks like it locks from the, the ejection port area. So that area lines up to the Glock 22, so it should work. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. It's locked in there. See that? And in order to get it out, I'll need to deactivate that thumb button there and it comes right out. So that's gonna take practice as well. When, you're, when you have this around your waist and you're actually getting it out, you'll notice that you're gonna be dancing around with it if you don't get it, get it right. So let me show you how it kind of works. And yes, it is an unloaded weapon. So you're gonna Go down in the holes like, like normal. See how my thumb is? What I do is when I go down and get that master grip, I'm going to, and obviously get the web of my, my hand up here in the tank, I'm going to let my thumb hit the holster uh, hood as it comes down. So I'm going for my draw, thumb drop stat. Now while I'm right here in this spot, as I'm coming out like this, bring my thumb down to deactivate that lever for the uh, thumb. So bring your thumb down and deactivates it. So as you practice and get better, and as this loosens up, it'll be quicker. It'll be quicker and quicker and quicker. So it's not bad, it's a lot easier when it's on the waist, but I think for demonstration purposes, it'll be a little bit easier to hold it like this. So down, as you come up, deactivate the thumb lever with your thumb. And you're good, you got that nice master grip, you're ready to rock and roll, and you're good. So there's this holster with the Glock 19, 
Gen 4 with night sights on it. And yes, it still works, still fits. And here it is with my Glock 22 Gen 4. Fits in there as well. So yes, it does that a little bit. And I've noticed it does, this holster does that with some of my other weapons. The, the, the Safari Land holsters that are made for my other weapons, not this specific holster, does the same thing. But it's locked in there fine. Has nothing to worry about. This weapon will not fall out unless you need to take it out. You, you, it's not going to fall out, but this weapon won't come out this holster unless you intended to come out this holster. So <clears throat> that's one of the reasons I transitioned from this to this. Because with this on my hip, out and about, anyone can just come up and grab it. I could trip down a hill or something. It may or may not fall out because there's no type of active retention to it. It's just, it's just there, right? But with this one... You have to actually make an effort to get it out, and it's not going to just fall out if you're tumbling and rolling down a hill due to some random situation. So I think this holster is a go. It is a yes. And to confirm again with people, it does fit with the 17, 22, as well as 19, and probably some more that's on the list. But like you know, the 17 is the full-size uh, version of the Glock, and then the 19 is a subcompact. So yes. It won't just only fit for the 17 and 22. It will also fit for the Glock 19. So here it is. Beautiful holster just updated my battle belt. I think I'm in love with it. I'm going to keep it as much as long as I can. Um, I'm trying to see whatever the speaking points I had in my mind. Um, I bet when I press stop, they'll pop up. So I talked about the retention. I talked about the practicing with the, loose, the hood to loosen it up. Practicing the motions of drawing it. Um... Yeah, that's, that's about it. Will I recommend this holster to people? Yes, I will. Um, due to the things that I mentioned there. And I think it's very wise to have these features, uh, especially the hood and not just the thumb uh, release because the hood is just that extra level of safety, extra level, level of comfort, and um, it feels good when you, when you have it. So here is the Safari Land 6360 holster. Hope you enjoyed the review or overview and I hope that that question was answered to help people that are wondering the same thing I wondered will this fit my Glock 19 and yes it would so Randy Sats 50 checking out like comment subscribe hope you all enjoy your night